doing that. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this Facebook Live. We're going to talk about the weather in yeah. just a moment here. But uh, first, a reminder, you can find us live here on Facebook. We go live every Monday through Friday about 8 o'clock in the morning, so we'd love when you join us. You can also watch this video later in the day if that's convenient for you. It stays on your feed all day long, so uh, whenever you can watch it, just do that. Also, you can find us on your favorite podcast platform. Just go to inform.com slash podcast for the Inform Minute. Also, look for us on our Inform YouTube page as well. We're all over the place. <laughs> all right, uh, Lydia, for some folks waking up to kind of a, a noisy night yeah. or early morning type Yeah, of had some storms develop, kind of mm -hmm. central North Dakota overnight, push up toward the Devil's Lake Basin, it mm -hmm. was noisy. I got a report of almost an inch of rain near Leeds, some oh. large hail being reported. Got a picture of some small hail near Niles, North Dakota. And now all of this is transitioning into the north northern Red River Valley. Grafton, Park River, even the north end of Grand Forks, getting some of that heavy rain, thunder, mm -hmm. lightning. Um, I haven't had a severe cell since about 5.30 this morning. So uh, everything's been below severe criteria, mm -hmm. at least. It's just a lot of noise and a lot of rain. Yeah. Folks in Fargo are thinking, what? in the world there's <laughs> yeah. nothing going on here yeah we've seen some sunshine this morning calm conditions and temperatures near 70 as you're stepping out the door this batch of storms will exit the area up through northern minnesota moving into canada we watch for a second round to develop this afternoon and this evening even a little stronger or a better signal for storms uh temperatures getting up to the mid to upper 80s so there's some good fuel for these storms to work with level two risk for severe weather later today hail anywhere from an inch to two inches and wind gusts 60 to 70 miles an hour that will fade away with sunset. We're quiet for the first part of the overnight. I'm gonna watch out for yet another chance early tomorrow morning, kind of developing again in central North Dakota and making a run toward the valley just in time for the morning commute tomorrow. So we've got mm. about three rounds okay. of strong to maybe severe storms here over the next 24 hours. This morning, later this afternoon, evening, and then again by about tomorrow morning. As that clears out, temperatures do boost all the way into the 80s near 90, not only today, but tomorrow mm -hmm. as well. Then I've got two more days in the 80s, Wednesday, Thursday, another chance of storms on Wednesday, by the way. 70s with rain on Friday and 60s starting Saturday and really lasting through the rest of the 10-day right, forecast. So, so kind of that turn to yeah. cooler fall-like <laughs> air is just around the corner. Yeah, there's a lot. A lot happening. Yeah, it's busy morning. Been sure. just busy enough, <laughs> not like pull my hair out stressful, but yeah. busy enough that this oh, yeah. one storm has been kind of moving on through. If you happen to wake up to hail overnight, you took a picture, feel free to send it in. If you have rain reports, we'd love to hear what you're seeing or waking up to. Mm -hmm. um, and then because of different rounds of rain moving through kind of similar spots, we'll have to watch out for maybe aerial flooding. Oh, okay. Just with yeah. really saturated grounds, you know, after one heavy sure. round of rain and then you get hit with another round of heavy rain, just things to be aware of with any yeah, of these cells. Happen. Um, keep your Storm Tracker app on you today. If you want to head out, do something outside, golf, work, whatever you got to do outside, um, I would check on the app, check the radar before you do that yeah. because these storms are kind of bubbling up. So, okay, I think that's all. Sounds good. Thanks, Thanks Lydia. Appreciate it. All right, we did have some breaking news this morning on First News. Uh, a car is destroyed in a fire. It happened near 32nd Avenue West and 15th Street, uh, just on the edge of West Fargo. Uh, it was right around 2 o'clock this morning. Our photographer that was on the scene says it was actually a construction site for the FM Diversion Project. Firefighters tell us they were able to knock the flames down pretty quickly. Uh, there were no injuries, but we are working to find out exactly what started that fire and whose vehicle it is. Uh, power is back on for the city of Winemere after a transformer caught on fire. Uh, the Richland County Sheriff's Office tells us the transformer caught fire about 7.30 Sunday night just south of town. Winemere School said on Facebook power was out for the entire town. The district had been monitoring the power situation in case it didn't come back on. They would have probably had to cancel school. Uh, that's not the case, though. School is going on today. The power is back on. There also was a... Uh, water usage restriction in place too. Uh, that's also been lifted, so everything is as normal now for Winemere. Budget cuts are on the agenda for the Fargo City Commission. The city's diversity, equity, and inclusion department could be on the chopping block. Uh, that department was started back in 2021. Uh, it has two employees. The city says if uh, they make multiple cuts, including that department, they could save about $700,000. So they'll discuss that, plus a lot of other financial things, budget cuts tonight at their city commission meeting. So make sure to tune in to WDAY News at 10 o'clock tonight. I will have the latest updates on what they decide. 
Today kicks off NDSU Homecoming Week, and of course there's a whole lot of festivities going on all week long to celebrate leading up uh, to this weekend when the big homecoming game is. So just for a few things, kickoff event today from 1 to 3, that's at uh, near the library on campus. There's also a mind reader at 7 o'clock at the Festival Concert Hall. Uh, the, of course, lots of other stuff going on, so keep your eyes peeled on, on Facebook and NDSU's website for all those that are going on. Homecoming Parade, that's a big one. That's on Friday at 6 o'clock on campus. Also, of course, the Homecoming Football Game, that's Saturday at 1 o'clock, and you can watch that on WDAY if you don't go up to it in person. Uh, we now know the name of a man, the man, who was arrested for what appears to be another assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Ryan Wesley Routh is the alleged gunman who was plotting to kill the former president. It all happened Sunday afternoon. Trump was playing golf when the Secret Service spotted someone with an AK-47 in the bushes. It was just a couple of holes ahead of where Trump was playing a game of golf. Uh, Secret Service agents fired at that man. However, it's unclear if the gunman fired any shots back or if he was injured or anyone else uh, Secret Service members were hurt. So a lot of new details still coming out about that, who the shooter was, uh, the alleged shooter, gunman, whatever you want to call him at this point. Uh, so stick with us. We'll have updates on that. So will all the national news outlets. Today on Hot Mike with Tom Izzo, the Vikings won again but lost Justin Jefferson. How Sam Darnold led the Purple to an upset win. Plus the Bison rallied for an improbable win on Saturday. How they rallied to beat ETSU. That was a crazy game. Hot Mike is live from 9 to 11 on WDAY Extra and on Inforum.com. Don't forget, for just 99 cents a month for your first three months, you can get all access pass to Inforum.com. Just go to Inforum.com slash subscribe to get the deal. Remember, join us for the rest of our newscast uh, today as well. Our next one's at 11 this morning, then 4, 5, 6, 9, and 10. And we'll be back with first news tomorrow morning from 5 to 7. So be sure to join us then. Have a great day, everyone.